Facebook has been under fire for the spread of fake news, disturbing content, and political bias on its platform in the past two years. And now, Wired Magazine just released an in-depth report on the company and how its CEO is trying to steady the ship. Now, Wired's editor-in-chief, Nick Thompson, spoke with some 51 current and former Facebook employees, and he told me what they had to say about the overall mood inside the company now. I think that Fred Vogelstein and I wrote the story together and the picture we got from all the people we talked to was that a company that just wasn't prepared for what happened. They had kind of coasted along for most of their existence believing that what's good for Facebook is what's good for the world. Mm. And then suddenly that belief was kind of crushed as they saw what happened during the American election, they saw Russian manipulation and they saw use of the platform spinning out of control in certain ways. But what we also learned while working on it is that there is a very real sense that Facebook is now taking this seriously and taking steps in the right direction. Yeah, what's good for Facebook certainly hasn't been good for original content providers and for journalism. Facebook has been accused of killing the original content business, and yet it attempts to, you know, express this appreciation for journalism, right? You know, with this, the Facebook Journalism Project, etc. How would you characterize the true nature of the relationship between Facebook and journalism? It's complicated and interesting, and it's one of the things that drew me in. So the people at Facebook really do like journalism. They really do want Facebook for be, to be a tool of civic engagement. But they also became absolutely the dominant force in the news industry, and they flattened the distinctions between high-quality publishers and low-quality publishers. They made it so that basically everything looks the same. And they didn't do that out of malice. They did it just out of thinking it's an open and democratic platform. So one of the consequences is that you could start a fake newspaper and get as much attention as if you had started a real newspaper 100 years ago and had a great brand. So kind of by their product decisions, they made it hard for the media industry to thrive. And then they also made it easy for kind of fake news to prosper. And so that was one of the kind of original sins of the last couple of years. After Trump won the race, Zuckerberg dismissed the, the role uh, that Facebook and fake news played in the election. How did that go down internally inside Facebook? Oh, that was one of Zuckerberg's worst mistakes. So the election happens, and Facebook clearly plays a significant role. You can't say whether they tilted it to Trump or whether they didn't tilt it to Trump. It's an impossible question. But it was clearly a massive force in the American election. And right afterwards, Zuckerberg kind of did some back-of-the-envelope math, decided that fake news was a very small percentage of election content, and made the statement saying, oh, it would be pretty, pretty crazy to think fake news influenced the election. And inside of Facebook, people went nuts. They were so upset and they were frustrated they thought this guy just doesn't get it and so quickly they had to try to flip him one uh, executive said to us on background we had to flip him or else we would head down the pariah path that uber was on and so they got zuckerberg to kind of turn around and to say to seem a little more remorseful and a little more thoughtful about it and so then facebook started having internal conversations about what they could do one of my favorite quotes in the story comes from a moment there where um, another employee, Facebook employee was watching Zuckerberg and said he was reminded of Lenny in Mouse and Men, the man who's just way too strong and keeps killing things because he doesn't understand his own strength. So can Facebook turn itself around? Can Zuckerberg redeem himself? Yeah, I think absolutely. I think that what Zuckerberg has done over the last year and a half is really go through a learning experience and he's thought a lot about the platform's influence he's thought about its role in elections its role in journalism its role in our own individual lives and whether it can make us depressed and lonely and so facebook is a series of algorithms and you can go in and change the algorithms and you can change the incentives and every single thing you do is complicated and every single thing has consequences beyond what you expect but what we've seen in the last few weeks is facebook saying okay we're going to start changing the algorithms that affect journalism. We're going to start changing the way our platform works for people. And I think all of those changes are motivated by good and are thought through. So I actually think that you're going to see a very different Facebook in a year from the one you saw last year.